In this video, I will be downloading uh, images for multiple timestamps uh, using the process API of uh, Sentinel Hub. So for that, I will be taking a bit of help from the official documentation of uh, Python Sentinel Hub. And uh, if we go to the Python documentation of uh, Sentinel Hub, uh, we can find uh, under the basic examples, example number eight, uh, multiple timestamps data so we will be using uh, uh, the code mentioned this in this example so i will copy um, copy the code one by one and paste it in my google collab notebook so i will paste it and uh, i will import a library called date time and uh, in this code we are basically defining a start date and an end date uh, which defines uh, the range uh, between which uh, we are looking multiple images. Um, you can change uh, the date as per your requirement. So after defining the start and end date, number of chunks has been defined, which is 13. So what it will do, it will create uh, 12 slots for us. Uh, within uh, this whole year, which I have uh, defined in the start and end date. So let me run the whole notebook. These are the basic steps which has been uh, discussed earlier in the previous notebook. I will uh, install the Sentinel Hub Python library. I will uh, copy paste my client credentials and import some basic libraries. I will define uh, my region of interest uh, uh, using the uh, sentinel hub request builder uh, i will draw the polygon on this map and uh, the corresponding uh, coordinates will be pasted in this cell and uh, using these coordinates these coordinates i i will i will paste in the collab notebook define the resolution and uh, and uh, i can see the dimensions of my image uh, and if I run this code you can see that 12 slots uh, for each month has been uh, for almost each month has been defined so uh, what it will do it will return an image for each slot so for in year we will having uh, 12 images so uh, we will copy this code next code and uh, paste it uh, in the google collab so this is the function which generates the request for each of slot so instead of manually uh, generating the request for each slot we have written a function so we will re replace this text uh, uh, with the uh, with the code uh, which is which has been generated by the sentinel hub request builder i will just i will select the sentinel 2 uh, mosaicing order will be least cloud cover and uh, default evolve script will be used and uh, uh, you can see the request uh, is written here so we will copy this uh, portion of the code from the request builder and paste it in uh, the google collab notebook and a uh, couple of editing in this uh, script will be enough for us i will remove uh, this these extra lines of geometry and the size of the image has been already defined in the variable image underscore size so uh, the evolve script is still missing uh, so what we can do is uh, we can go back to the request builder and uh, copy the evolve script from uh, the code which is generated by the request builder uh, that's it and uh, i will paste it uh, in the cell and just run it and after that i will i will just remove this extra bracket and uh, run this code so yes uh, we have defined a function for generating request for each of the time slot uh, which is which has been generated so uh, in the next step, uh, we will be copying this code and pasting this. Uh, so this code will generate 
list of request for each uh, slot uh, it will call it will call the function which has been defined uh, in the previous cell and using that uh, request it will generate it will it will download the image for that particular slot so we have generated a list of requests and uh, then using the list of requests uh, we can uh, download the data and we uh, are doing multiple threading where max threads is equal to five and if we run this code yes uh, the code has executed and the data has been stored in the sentinel hub and uh, now what uh, we have to do uh, we will move towards uh, the next cell and uh, this is basically the layout we, we will define the layout how we, how our image will be visualized and uh, there are number of columns number of number of rows and uh, expect ratio has aspect ratio has also been defined so what we can do we, we can change uh, the image size variable with our defined variable and uh, uh, we can import uh, the library of uh, matplotlib so that uh, it can use the plt dot subplots uh, command uh, dot pyplot as plt and uh, moreover we can also we have to import uh, numpy also numpy as np and yes uh, we are almost uh, done with this and if we run this cell Here you can see that uh, uh, 12 images uh, in that date range has been retrieved and using this code uh, uh, you can download images at multiple timestamps uh, uh, for any of the satellite uh, which is available on the Sentinel Hub uh, request builder platform.